Hey Killer Bees, it's Paula B from paulabfitness.com and on tap today I've got day 19 of the Weight Loss for Women Over 50 series and today we are walking with weights. So grab your lightest dumbbells and if you don't have a light enough pair, make sure that you open up the description box below and get the exact three pair set that I have from Amazon that I use in all of our weighted workouts. You guys, today is completely low impact which means that there is no jumping. There's also no transitions to the ground. And when you're ready for this one, I'm totally ready. <laughs> Let's go. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and get moving and grooving. Go ahead and have your weights completely out of the way while we get started with our warm up, which of course is arm circles and high knees. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna slow that one right on down. <laughs> I've been active today, like, like rather active as a matter of fact, but oh my gosh, that first arm circle absolutely found every single stiff and sore muscle in my body. How about yours? You know, I know that some, uh, I don't really watch a lot of other YouTubers, truly, but I do know that some other fitness YouTubers really kind of jump right into the warm up. And I have to tell you, that is probably one of the biggest differences between me and almost everybody else on YouTube. I am actually 50 years old. I know what it's like to need to take a little bit slower, a little bit gentler warm up. Sometimes I'm simply not capable of moving all that fast, even though I've already been moving today. My body sometimes really really just needs a very gentle and a little bit, sometimes a little bit longer warm up. I know that I've mentioned it at least once or twice, but I will tell you that anytime that we start doing these workouts, if you don't feel completely warmed up after my warm up, please, please, please do more on your own. You can always do a longer warm up because it will help you get a better workout, my friends. Speaking of better workouts, we're gonna have a really good one today. I'm so excited about this. Me moving kind of slowly right now, notwithstanding, I'm very excited about our cardio toning today. It's walking with weights, one of our favorite workouts. Let's go ahead and do some arm crossers with booty kickers. So we're gonna have weights in our hands the entire time if you have light enough weights. This is the kind of workout that I know a long time ago, in fact, if you look, I have over 700 videos, but if you look, I have, I think at least two rather old walking with weights videos where I am carrying significantly heavier weights. Like they used to be my lightest weights. And then because I started making videos like that, I was like, I totally need lighter weights than this. So, so I used to try and kind of push through with something that was right on the border of being too heavy for me. And I want you to know that there's almost no benefit to be had, but there are plenty of risks to be had from going too heavy. If you don't have a light enough pair, don't have anything in your hands. That's totally fine. This is a great workout no matter how you slice it. We're moving, we're grooving, we're having fun, we're sweating. That's, I mean, that's what we're gonna get out of the day, right? Let's go ahead and do some welcome to my homes. If you do have a nice light pair of dumbbells though, here's what we're doing. We're going walking with weights. And I've got my handy dandy gym boss here set for one minute intervals. We're going EMOM style, which has nothing to do with being a mother and everything to do with doing a different exercise every minute on the minute. It's an acronym. So, so that means I get to do a little bit of counting today. <laughs> Wish me luck, my friends. So far, if you are new and you have only been around for the weight loss series, I have not, I have not done any counting, have I? I'm not great at counting. So, so I'm gonna be thinking very hard today about doing my best. Every minute on the minute, we're going to do four repetitions of a different kind of exercise. It's basically just to make sure that our body is moving in different ways and getting all planes of motion, toning all of our muscles with some complex exercises and then going right back to walking. So in fact, let's go ahead and start walking. If you feel warmed up, grab your weights. If you've got weights and let's, Let's get moving. So here it is, we're walking. We're walking, we're walking, we're walking. In a minute, when the timer beeps, I apologize. My cat is going crazy in the other room and I don't know if you can hear it, but I don't know what she's got. She's definitely got something and I wonder if she's gonna come running out here at some point with whatever thing it is that she has. <laughs> When it beeps, we're going to do side step peekaboos, which means that we're stepping to the side using our inner and outer thighs. A peekaboo is where we have our elbows up at shoulder height. We're gonna have our hands closed and then our hands open. 
Now here's the thing about me counting. First of all, I'm not great at it because I, generally speaking, I'm trying to talk and tell you form things and, and stuff like that. I'm going to be very careful to count carefully, but also I count the mean way. One on each side equals one every time. I, I, I like to even things out and I like to make sure that we're getting enough work to make it worth our while. So hands up, we're stepping out to the side, out to the other side. There's one, boom, there's two, there's three, and that one, and back is four, and right back to walking. So this is what it looks like. We're spending most of our day walking, which means that you can pick a pace that feels best for you. If you happen to have a lot of energy today, you could probably pick up this pace a little bit. If today is a little bit more of a low day for you, then feel free to go slower. Walking is such a perfect exercise for that exact reason. You can absolutely find a pace that fits your moderate needs for the day. Now, when it beeps again, we're gonna do curtsy curls, which means that we're gonna step back into a curtsy lunge while doing biceps curls. Now, the thing about biceps curls, this is something that I notice a lot when I'm working with people in person. It's very, very easy to have your hands, or your elbows rather, just be out away from your body. When you lock them into your waist, you are truly isolating the biceps muscle. Yes, I'm counting. This one here is two. Getting down into a nice deep curtsy lunge each time. We're not doing a ton of them. There's three and then one more on each side. Right there. Whoo, and right there. And yes, we're right back to walking. See, that's the magic of the four repetitions. I had a feeling that that was really gonna feel like enough, you guys. Oh my goodness, speaking of enough, wouldn't it be this again? We're gonna do something I call I, Y, W, and parade rest. Generally speaking, I do this as an unweighted exercise, and this is gonna be a real challenge for us. We're forming the letter I by having our hands directly overhead. Then we're gonna move our hands out to the side for the letter Y. Then we're gonna bring our elbows down for the letter W. So here we go, letter I, letter Y, letter W, and then parade rest is putting your hands behind your back. Back up to the letter I, Y, W. There's two of them done. I, Y, W, yes, I see my crazy cat. There's three. The letter I, the letter Y, the letter W, and parade rest. And right back to walking, oh my goodness. Yep, I think that's just the kind of day it's gonna be around here. <laughs> Sometimes she's asleep on the couch. Sometimes she's running around wearing her crazy pants. I suspect that she'll actually be asleep here any second now. Anyways, when it beeps again, we're doing something I call overhead to high knees because we're gonna have our hands up overhead and then we're gonna bring them down to one high knee at a time. Once again, that being a single-sided exercise, I'm gonna count the mean way where one on each side equals one. So we're getting plenty of work here here. So overhead to one high knee and then the other. There's one of them done. Moving at a pace that feels good to you. There's two. This is strength but it's also cardio toning. There's three. So whatever pace you can get the work done, there's four and right back to walking is totally fine with me, especially on something like this where I am counting. If you need to move slower, just do the exercise for the same amount of time that I'm doing it, and don't worry about how many you get done. When it beeps again, oh my gosh. Okay, the exercises are not getting easier, they never do. We're doing sidekick arm openers. That one, again, is a single-sided exercise. So we're gonna have our hands starting at about chest height. You're gonna open up one sidekick and one arm on the same side at the same time. It's essentially, I'm trying to think, it's not really gonna look like the letter K because your hand isn't gonna be quite that high, it's gonna be more chest level, but side kick arm opener and side kick arm opener. It's kinda of like a lazy letter K. <laughs> And then there's two of them done. Oh my gosh, pull in your core. There's three. And that one, who doggies, is four and right back to walking. This, my friends, is why I cautioned you to have light enough weights. You know, the fact is, no matter how light your weights are, 
there's a cumulative effect to doing this whole workout with weights in your hands. Your arms get tired. I mean, that's sort of the point. That's how we tone is by tiring out our muscles, but also your arms get tired <laughs> when it beats again. We're going to do squats with a triceps kickback. So we're going to have our feet about hip width apart. We're going to come down in a squat and pull our arms up almost like a biceps curl, honestly going to have your elbows real close to your body. As we stand, we're going to hinge forward very slightly at the waist. So it's a squat and then a triceps kickback and then a squat and then pushing those arms back, really feeling that work behind your arms. There's three of them back there on the underneath in your triceps and four. Oh my gosh. Whew, yes, a little goes a long way for both squatting and triceps work. Excellent job. Right back to this great walking pace at whatever pace feels good for you. Now here's the thing about relentless work like this. Sometimes, even if we're going at a moderate pace, it starts to feel like your heart rate is drifting up, 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 because it is. That's actually a legitimate thing called cardiac drift. I'm going to tell you real quick. We're going to do front raise step backs next. So we're going to start with our hands facing our body, palms facing your body. You're going to raise up one dumbbell to about chest height directly in front of you while stepping your opposite foot back. So raise and step, raise and step. Counting the mean way, that was only one. This is two. There's three and that one is four. Excellent job, right back to walking and you guys, that was the circuit. Okay, the exercises did not get easier but also they're not gonna get any harder than that on round two and here's the great news, there are only two rounds today. So here's what I was saying about cardiac drift. It's good. It is actually a good thing for you, meaning that it's how your body tolerates work and honestly, how you get better at work, at endurance kind of work. When it beeps, we're going to do those sidestep peekaboos, by the way. It is one of the ways that we train our heart and our lungs to get better by asking them to take on a load. It's actually how we train to get better at literally anything. So here we go up in that peekaboo position, open and close, open and close. There's one, yes, this is single sided even though your arms are telling you otherwise. There was two and three open and close open that was four excellent job right back to walking and that was the last time that we had to do those my friends we are working on cardio endurance today muscle endurance today this kind of relentless work where your heart rate drifts up 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 that even if we feel like we started off moderately we get to a crescendo point by the end of it this is how we learn endurance. And it's truly the beginning of all fitness. When it beeps again, we're going to do those curtsy curls. I know, I know that there's a lot of information in the world about the best way to gain fitness. Here we go with curtsy curls. Elbows locked in right to your waist. Come down in a curtsy while pulling up those biceps curls. Remembering to count, remembering to breathe. There's two of them done. And curtsy. There's three. That one, yes, indeed, is four. And back to walking. Oh my gosh. I know there's a lot of information in the world about hit training and about lifting heavier. Basically, power kinds of exercises. When it beeps again, we're doing that IYW and parade rest. And the fact is, at some point in your fitness journey, those types of workouts might be absolutely appropriate for you. Right now, because your focus is on weight loss, you may or may not gain fitness while we are losing weight. Here we go with I, Y, W, and parade rest, really pulling those shoulders back. I, Y, W, make sure your knees are soft but strong, core is pulled in tight. Here we go. Parade rest for the third time and up, out, 
W and rest without really resting for the fourth time right back to walking while we are working on weight loss. Doing more extreme kinds of work, more power centered kinds of work isn't as appropriate, especially if you are brand new to working out in general. Coming up next, we're doing that overhead to high knees. Your body has basically a hierarchy of how it makes adaptations. The first adaptation that your body makes is endurance. The second adaptation, here we go with overhead to one high knee and the other one. There's one of them done because this is single-sided. Great job, there's two. That one's three, and that means this one is our last one right there. Excellent, and right back to walking. The second adaptation that your body can make is power. And the fact is, if you skip over the endurance part, you are not super likely to make a lot of power adaptations, and you are far, far, far more at risk for injury and burnout, frankly. If your body doesn't know how to endure something light and something not necessarily long, but you know, endurance-like, being able to do something like this for 20 minutes or more. When it beeps again, by the way, we're doing those side kick arm openers. Then your body is going to be very hard pressed to do something more powerful. So elbow stays at shoulder height. First one's done. Side kick with an arm opener. There's two, pulling in that core, thinking about good form. There's three. And that one is four. Excellent job, right back to walking. When it moves again, I'm gonna tell you right now, we're doing those squats with the triceps kickback. It's why so many of my workouts this month, in fact, pretty much all of them, have been very endurance related. Not a lot of rest, not a lot of power moves, not a lot of hit, even though I do occasionally have rest intervals. Generally speaking, we're going from end to end. First of all, that's great for moderating your heart rate, great for weight loss. It's also great for endurance. This is the first level of fitness that we all need. So here we go with those squats. So squat it down, kick it back. Elbows stay real close to your body, not letting them come out wide. That way we can really squeeze and focus on those triceps. Three of them done. I was actually just thinking I was going to the beep, but I'm not doing a minute of these. That was four. <laughs> We're all done. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I was still thinking about endurance versus power and I was just about to start talking through that whole interfill. That's why I don't usually count. <laughs> but I tell you what, we've almost made it to the end. Our next exercise is the last exercise. We're doing those front raise step backs. So I really did make it almost all the way through the workout before I confused myself with whether or not I was talking or waiting for the beep. My friends, even if you are an experienced exerciser, endurance workouts like the ones that we are doing this month are the level of workouts that we need to be doing. Here we go with that front raise with a step back, squeezing from your glutes, squeezing from your shoulder. There's two and three and that one is four. And my friends, we're coming right back to walking because we are done technically when it beeps, but we're not quite finished. I do have one final thing for us as I always do. It is another minute of walking, except that we're punching out in front of us. Do you remember whenever that was when we did another walking with weights and we did a whole minute of walking while we were punching up? Remember how hard that was? Yes. This is the next layer of difficulty, truly. Punching directly out in front of you requires muscles. I actually call them curling iron muscles because we don't use them for a lot of things. Holding something heavy directly in front of your body at chest level, truly not something we do a lot of, but in the event that we need to, we're punching forward and walking, walking at whatever pace, punching at whatever pace. I'm not really trying to match 
my walking with my punching because I want to make sure that my core is pulled in tight. And I am going to talk through this whole thing because I'm not counting. We're doing the whole minute like this. Take these punches at whatever pace you can sustain, at whatever way you can make it through the entire minute. These are muscles that we don't use a lot of in this exact way. But it's good to be able to use them, to tone them, to strengthen them, to ask them to carry a load, just in case we ever need to. My friends, thinking about who extending your arm without locking your elbow helps you use your entire chest and shoulder complex. When it beeps again, it is the last time that it's going to beep in this workout. Yes! You didn't have to do that press up. <laughs> I was just really excited. Go ahead and put your weights completely down, completely out of the way. I'm going to turn off my timer. Oh my gosh. And I'm going to start doing some arm circles. Oh wow. With tappers. Oh, doesn't that feel nice? I tell you what, you know what, you know, earlier in the month, I was telling you how I don't love a cool down. I, I do them, but I don't love them. This, this series of workouts has really, really, because my filming schedule is different, has really opened my eyes to how glorious the cool down actually is. I've always been a fan of warm ups. I do love me a warm up, but I think I'm becoming a really big fan of the cool down too. It feels so wonderful to stretch out your body, stretch out your arms really specifically in this case, and let your body gently come back down from the work that we've just asked it to do. And my goodness, you asked it to do a lot of work today. What a great, great job you did. Ah, feeling so lovely. Letting your muscles ah, remember that it's okay to come back to their fully stretched out position. They don't have to be squeezed and scrunched anymore like they have been for our whole workout today. Let's do some arm openers. Ah, and of course those arm crossers where we give ourselves a big hug. Ah, my favorite part of the whole workout. Good job. Pat yourself on the back, my friends. Now, even though I am a convert, I'm not going to make you stand around and do, you know, 10 minutes of cooling down unless you actually want to. I have an extended cool down for you on every single one of these videos. In fact, pretty much every one of my videos ever. If you like to do an extended cool down, I have cool downs for us. They're lovely and they feel amazing, like a gift to your body. Please help yourself do that. On the other side of the screen, I will have all of the workouts from this series so that you can come back to them again again and again and again. Right now, we're only up to day 19. At the end of the month, there will be all 31 in one playlist for you to access whenever you want to. On the bottom of the screen is the letter P. That's an invitation to go over to Patreon where you can make a monthly pledge that helps me make free workouts for all of us. And thank you so much for that. On the other side, on the bottom of the screen is a picture of me and that's actually a subscribe button. Make sure that you click that and the bell notification so that YouTube will know that but you know every time I upload a new video, which this month is every single day. You guys, thank you so much for working out with me. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you tomorrow.